Good morning again. How you doing? Uh, it's tough, isn't it? Like just hi. Feel free to like, subscribe, ring that wobbly bell. Oh, the energy, right? I feel drained, but it's a good thing. It's not bad. I was thinking about this the other day, and I was having like a fitful night, and this was a couple of nights ago, and it was like on the edge of my subconscious. The this the it's almost like the things that weigh you down, the past traumas, the things that you've blocked out, you've kept hidden. And it's right, it was right there on the tip and I couldn't, I just couldn't grab hold of it and examine it. And it was just, and it was fleeting. And, and then I just realized I was doing, I was still doing spiritual surgery on myself, my, my soul, my spirit. And my nose is starting to itch, which is an indication that that's the, a truth. Yeah. Spiritual surgery. That's what this is. That's what we're doing, people. That's what when you when you're listening to this and you're going and you understand what the hell that means just by the, what I'm saying, like working on your yourself, healing that child, healing your inner child that was tormented by some poor son of a bitch that was probably themselves a traumatized child, you know, that kind of thing. Break the cycles. And I think that's what the ancestral curse is. <clears throat> when they talk about that, basically it's just healing the the childhood traumas brought on by past generations of bad behavior and, and repeated it. And, and that was, I want my children to be a new bloodline, you know, to, my grandchildren to be a new bloodline of positive reinforcement, positive, you know, the right way to have relationships, the right way to live, the right way to be in this, in this think about the self and the world around you, you know, that kind of thing. A positive bloodline. Where there's no, you know, curses and ancestral garbage and you're dragging on and passing on to some poor child that doesn't deserve that shit, right? So that's what we're doing. We're breaking curses. We're, my nose is still itching. <laughs> Which is good. This is what we want. We're, and I was just thinking about that. It's a really good term, spiritual surgery. And that's basically what it is. And, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm still doing it right now. This is what I'm doing here. This is a sacred place. It's very quiet. And I can be here for a minute and figure out where I'm going to go from here. But I do need to heal still. And that was a great indicator. Like I said, you're always going to be, you know, dealing with trauma. You're always going to be dealing with negativity. So it's not like there's an end to it once you become a shaman or you've, you know, reached a pinnacle of enlightenment. All of a sudden the world around you becomes perfection. There's still going to be problems. It's just you can, you can tackle them differently. You can see them in a different way light to where you can be more of a help than a hinder you can instead of adding to the the flame you can you know cool it off you know with some inspiration or love you know i don't know i get cheesy sometimes anyways so here i am robert keith the hopeful wonderer doing some spiritual surgery on myself and i'm getting there i'm feeling better about it but it's <sighs> yeah that thorn is elusive the time you grab it it kind of like tries to dig in deeper so work on yourself, love yourself, and I'll do the same, and we'll, you know, we'll get there. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day, okay? And let me see what we got there. I know it's terrible. I heard some, like, drumming and chanting earlier. I'm just saying. It's interesting. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Okay, love you. Bye.